Honey child. <laughs> Y'all know I normally start my vlogs like way mother freaking like earlier in the day, but it's 12 a.m. Well, I guess it's kind of early in the day. So basically, I literally was sitting here mind my business. I was getting a little, I got a little message. So somebody was like, they want to fly me out to Atlanta. So I'm like, you know what? I'm with the vibes, bitch. Say that. So then we going back and forth conversing in the conversation. And basically, I guess I'm a vlog me getting flew out. This started maybe like an hour ago. I just started straightening my wig, honey, because I had to wash my wig today, so I wasn't prepared for this. So I'm like, let me get up. I'm literally getting flued out today, which is pretty much in a couple hours. Honey, I only fuck with ballers, period. With the money. <laughs> this is one tip I want to let y'all know, because this whole vlog is going to be like damn near tips. So basically, the bitch was like, oh, I want to, I want to, she trying to fly me out. So you trying to fly me out? She going to say to me, I'm going to show the text message. She trying to say, like, she trying to fly me out by spirit. I'm like, bitch, I know you got me fucked up. Like, nigga, I ain't flying about no type of spirit. Like, I don't have nothing against spirit. But honestly, all the niggas I know that told me about them being on spirit, Literally, they told me that with spirit, you gotta pay for air, pay for water. You got they use rope as a fucking seatbelt, and they said to get the plane started, and they put their feet outside like fresh Flintstone. And honestly, I done heard too many bad things about spirits. I'm like, bitch, you not fly me out no spirit. How do I say this? You be having money, but they'll like test you to see what they can do with you. No, I'm expensive, bitch. Don't put me on no damn spirit. And honestly, I looked at the spirit flights, and spirit flights was only fifty-seven dollars. Of course, you gonna try to put me on spirit. So I was like, you know what? I'ma come, but you got me fucked up if you think I'm doing spirit. Then it's like, okay, like, I'ma come with the money. So basically my flight, literally because I guess the coronavirus and everything going on, it literally was only like 275. Just cash app, app pay me the money, I'll get my own flight. That's what I always do. I like to know my own record locator, which is my confirmation number, so you can't be calling the airline canceling my shit. Even if you did cancel, it's gonna be in my name anyway though. But I don't like that, all that mixy stuff. And honestly, I like to be in control. First off the bat, if you want me to be flyed out, girl, you better make sure that you, first off, you better make sure you ain't fly me on no damn spirit. Second off, you better make sure that um, you can Apple Pay or cash at me. And that's on period. And y'all know my daughter, she always flies out with me too. So honestly, she's gonna have to send me extra money so I can get my baby flued out as well because then I'm going everywhere I go. I'd be too nervous to leave dinner with people. Like I low-key wanna leave her with champagne, I said I was. But I'd be so nervous because I didn't have so many bad experiences when people watch my child and they don't be doing right by. I'm not saying I don't think champagne gonna do right by, but I feel like I just be so nervous. First things first, honestly, I know I'm missing nails, but honestly, I save all my personal nails that come off. So I'ma just glue them back on so I can be a bad bitch. First off, I need to make sure I pack my makeup. Now with me, when I'm packing my makeup to get flued out, I try to bring the bare minimum because I feel like, you know, but I try to bring good quality stuff. Because for example, I don't know if I'm gonna be going to parties. I don't know if I'm gonna be just chilling in the house. Well, most time I ain't chilling on my motherfucking house, honestly, let me be honest. So I don't know if I'm gonna be chilling in chilling at a lounge. I don't know if I'm gonna just be going out to dinner. I don't know if I'm gonna be going to the motherfucking beach. So I try to bring like one or two palettes. When I'm, I don't know, I'm the only person that do this, but like when I'm packing my makeup, I always envision me doing my makeup so I can don't forget nothing. So for example, this little box is nothing. Things first, when I do my makeup, I need my eyebrows. So I'm like, where's my eyebrow pencil? Let me pack my eyebrows. Concealer and brush. So I'm like, let me put my motherfucking concealer. Primer, I always need my primer. Pack my makeup, I did my hair. I just gotta do my hair tomorrow. And right now I'm about to do like, I can do my other half of my hygiene tomorrow. But literally I already waxed my face okay, but I kinda wanna wax it again just to make sure it's good. Cause you know the other day I was giving Wooly Mammoth. And right now I'm doing this concoction. I know y'all gonna talk mess about me. But honestly, so I'm about to like bleach my brows a little bit. This just makes my makeup application look so much better. I ain't even gonna cap. So I just take me a spoolie. Move this out the way. I don't want it to be like that bright. I just kind of want it to be um, brown. 
I would have did this tomorrow, but the reason I'm not doing it tomorrow is because every time I do this, my freaking brows, they break out. What if I just did this and just wiped my brow off? See how it's brown? Y'all probably ain't even noticing it, but honestly it is. It look like my brows is not even whelping up, but I'm pretty sure in about 10 minutes they will do it. So what I'm gonna do is use this Coochie Aftershave, Aftershave Gel. Put it on there. See what it do. Yeah, put that little sucker on here. My daughter, with her little cute self. Hey, Moo Moo. Hey, mommy's mommies. Y'all. I literally just got out of the shower. Last night, I literally, I waxed my body, like my whole entire body. It's, wax even though y'all know i don't grow hair on my arms no way it's like i started to get touch-ups and i haven't gotten a touch-up since like last year so i had like straggly little pieces of hair growing so you know i normally don't like wearing panties and bras but honestly when i get on a flight i have to <laughs> lingerie haul girl this set is so old it's from like adore me now I'm about to put this moisturizing body oil um, from Palmer's. It's like coconut oil or coconut butter. But it give me that coconut oil consistency. So just wipe my whole little foot down with this. And I don't like being rushed. So you know damn well, I think I'm gonna get up early when I do stuff. Cause if I'm rushed, honey, I'm that nigga that's gonna be like, you know what? I ain't going no more. Okay, so I just finished kind of doing my morning mantra, but I didn't pray. I need to pray. Hold on, let me go pray real quick, actually. Let me pray. <laughs> okay, so I'm done with my prayer or whatever. So normally when I pack my bags, I always pack everything in the living room just because it's a bigger space. And most of the time when I'm pulling clothes to pull from my room, I like throw clothes everywhere. So I feel like the living room is normally like the cleanest part of my house. So that's why I always bring everything in here. So I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. All my clothes that I'm actually gonna be wearing, all the stuff that's going on. And I'm gonna break down each little part and section so y'all can understand exactly why I have it like this and why it's the easiest way. Let me tell y'all something. So when I do my outfits, depending on how many days I'm going, I always do at least one casual outfit for each day. Then I also do one kind of like casual but i definitely need to step it up a fucking notch type of outfit and then i also do like a clubby outfit i don't bring too many clubby outfits for every single day but just like maybe a good two sometimes three but maybe a good two to three depending on how many days i'm staying so for example we got this little fit real cozy cute you know got my bag matching my shoes nice little jumpsuit with some matching shades that's popping you know i got this one it's like my louis louis vuitton so it's like stepping up a notch but my shoes you know, they're giving just some casual stuff. But my outfit is giving, like, real nice and snug, tight fitting. Then we go over here, you know, my booty always look good in denim. So, I need to make sure I always got my denims on deck. Okay? Then I got a little fit. So, you know, I kind of just base it off by this. But these are, like, the outfits I'm all going to wear. And then I have my night clothes. Anytime I stay somewhere, I always make sure I bring the cutest night clothes. So, I have, like, this. It's, like, real chill night clothesy, but... It's kind of, it's really matchy. Like it makes sure it matches, it makes sense, but it don't look like I'm trying too hard. Then you got this one, like my little silky stuff. Then y'all know a girl gonna have a robe, honey, of course, or whatever, so that's type of tea. And then this outfit, I gotta go get the other shoe. But she cute too. So you know, I'm just gonna show y'all a few of my little fits or whatever, so that'll be cute or whatever. I know I got my purple wig on, but sometimes when you wear purple hair or a different color type of hair like that, I always bring a backup wig. Like, I don't ever know if this hair is going to get wet. If it start acting crazy in the hairline. I don't know if somebody else got purple hair there. And I'm like, damn, bitch, I don't even want to have the same purple hair as you. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. So, I'm like, you always bring a backup wig. And, girl, when I brought my backup wig today, I was like, you know what? Let me bring my backup wig that's giving, like, grown and classy, okay? So, backup wig it is. This is my little blonde one I had on. Y'all thought that was real cute or whatever. So, y'all know I was going to have my little wig. So, pretty much, 
got my little backup wig got a little nice little silk bag for it and then over here it's just like bathing suits really cute ass fancy lingerie um really cute little fit that i just did a tron haul on just stuff like this that i might just want to wear like you know something that'll give the vibes so this is like my little toiletry things that I would need, like the bare minimum. Like I pretty much got my camera, I got my other camera. Y'all know I got like four cameras, but anyway, I brought my camera with me just in case, you know, when I go from city to city, I want to collab with a YouTuber, meet up with a YouTuber. Um, so I brought this camera. This is not the camera I use on a regular basis, but this is one of the cameras that I have started using. I actually like it. Um, I got this right here. This is adapter for my phone. So basically I can take like my Instagram pictures by myself. Don't need nobody. And I usually have my little tripod. Tripod is, I usually have my little tripod. My tripod is right there. It's small, but I like it because it's so compact and it goes really, really tall. So, you know, she's a winner. And then I got like my SD cards, camera battery, an extra one, um, hard drive so I can keep all my YouTube videos on here when I'm editing on a plane wireless headphones my computer and of course my phone okay so i bring all this kind of stuff so just so i can edit videos and continue working then over here we have like my makeup i packed all my makeup in this new little case i've been using i actually like using this case a lot it's really really compact y'all seen i got that from i believe ross and that was only like a dollar so i got this my makeup wipes and then of course my makeup brushes this one actually fit in there so i got this there but i always bring my makeup but i don't bring a bunch like this is pretty much the bare minimum too like only thing that's really extra in here is i brought two palettes if i didn't bring two palettes everything is kind of like bare minimum so i brought both of these i brought my hot comb in case i need to get this frontal together um this right here is some silk infusion chi gels i put it in a sandwich baggie because i cannot find my travel size bottles i have travel size bottles couldn't find them because this is spur of the moment so i'm like okay just put it in this baggie then i actually put it in another baggie so if it do leak it don't leak all over everything and i'm probably going to actually put these two in another baggie with themselves because i have this oil leaks over my clothes it's over with so what we have over here is my toothbrush and my toothpaste um i normally have my smaller toothpaste or sometimes i don't even bring toothpaste because most time hotel i have them but if i can find my small one i'll probably switch it out but i just grabbed this one real quick just so i can remember at least to have something here so i can know then i have my olay um this i like using because it's very very small and compact and i like this one just because it smells smells really 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 good and that's one thing you want to do is honey you want to definitely smell good because i Honestly, I ain't got time for that, okay? Ain't nobody got time for you to go on your little flute out situation and girl, you ain't smelling good. And this is just gonna make sure I smell good as soon as I hop out of the shower. Then I have my deodorant. I like to use the degree deodorant. Most time I bring a face mask because my face dries out so freaking bad on the dag on plane. So I always like to bring a face mask and I'll do that at the hotel just to hydrate my skin. Like when I say this body butter is OD, one of my subscribers sent me this body butter. When I say this body butter is OD, like it is so freaking bomb. So I was like, oh. Sis, I love this. I have her tag below. If I can't find it, I hope she reaches out because it only says KK brand, but when I say it, it smells so good, so freaking good. Then I got my vitamins over here. Y'all know I've been taking my vitamins, honey, and I love these vitamins. They are adult gummy vitamins. You only want to take like two a day, but honestly, I be popping like 10 because they're so good. They taste like candy, so you know, your girl put you on, period. I got them from Walmart, too. And then these two things, I did a video on this. It's like my body tape to lift my titties up or what if I want to snatch something or anything like that. It works really, really good. I love this tape. And then I got my jelly nipples because, you know, I don't really wear bras too often. So I like to at least cover over my my nipple part so it's not just like beaming out and I like to use my little jellies <laughs> ensure that you stow these items under the seat in front of you leaving the area around your feet completely clear okay you guys so literally my airport outfit is pretty chill as you guys can tell I kind of just got a white shirt on my shorts you know cute casual so I'm giving cute vibes but I just boarded so right now I'm just sitting here waiting to be taken off. I got my earbuds in, so I'm ready to listen to some music. So hopefully, I can sit by myself and ain't nobody gonna sit with me. Cause that would be a dream right now, honestly.
Okay, you guys, so I'm in Austin, Texas right now at my layover because, no, it's not a layover. It's basically just a plane stop. Um, we're supposed to be here for like 40 minutes, so I am gonna go out there. I wasn't gonna go out there, but I just wanna use the bathroom really quick. I wanna stretch my legs. Um, and I know my daughter is here with me. So I'm pretty sure she wanna go out there. And yeah, so I'm just gonna go out there really quick. Nothing crazy. Um, I'm pretty much freshened up. I was editing videos, as you guys could tell. So I was basically still working, getting my coin, even though I'm having a little vacay. I'm making sure I'm making my money. And then I'm also, I did my nails, you guys. They turned out really, really cute. They're not white, they're actually blue. So that turned out really, really well. And I was gonna go through my phone and delete certain things in there just to save some time as well. Um, and I took a nap. So this next flight, I don't know how long that actually is gonna be, but I will be coming right back to over here when I'm done. So I'm gonna go out there for real quick. <laughs> I'm trying to spend in the room hotel and then I'm gonna vlog at the hotel and tell y'all what's tea. I'm so damn hungry though. So motherfucking hungry, so. I look a fucking mess, but good thing nobody gonna see me. I'm going to my goddamn hotel. Good morning. <laughs> Yo, my night was so freaking crazy. I did not even come back on the vlog, I promise you. So what happened is, after I got my bags, like my driver couldn't freaking find me. So then I forgot the vlog, me even getting in the motherfucking Uber XL. Then I'm like, at this point, like nigga, what am I like even supposed to do? So, and like I said, I'm in a hotel because anytime I get flu out, baby, I get my own hotel. Number one, because I be wanting to like meet with other YouTubers and do like collaborations or anything. And honestly, I feel like most time if I show somebody a house, people on social media is gonna put two and two together of who the fuck house I'm at. <laughs> like, honestly, because the person is known. So at that point, I'm just like, mm, I just do my own thing. My but I will show you I'm a little hotel room. It ain't nothing too crazy. It's crazy, but hold on real quick. So basically, it's just something real chill. Look at my baby. <laughs> it's something real chill. I was uploading a video. Um, excuse my voice, y'all, because it's like 6 a.m. And then I like this little TV. It got like a little swivel type of thing going on to it. So that's, you know, low key kind of cute. And then you got my daughter on her own little bed. So basically, this like little bathroom area. We got the little vanity or whatever. Y'all see me looking like a hot mess. Okay, so listen to this. Listen to this shit. <laughs> Listen to this. Let me tell you what the fuck that happened there, which is so low-key low key weird. So why, also, why my nails popped off? I think the glue that I used this time was like some janky ass glue. So honestly, this would have been so cute if my new glue had stayed on, but like I told you, the night was wild as fuck, so nobody was paying attention to my fingers. Um, she ordered me this for DoorDash, and literally I got up to go get it, and when I got it, it was this nigga that was at the door, so I literally was like, oh, Hey, and I got the food and literally I look like this. So I was like, oh, let me get the food da, 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 and walked away. So why? She's a female. So when she ordered the food, it's a girl's name under it. So basically he said to her, he said, I don't be normally doing this, but you fine as fuck. So she called me up and was like, what the nigga from DoorDash, what just happened with the nigga from DoorDash? I said, he dropped my food off. What do you mean? And she was like, why the nigga just wrote me on DoorDash saying, I don't normally do this, but you fine as fuck. And I said, um, <laughs> he must thought he was right. And me, because you a female, I got a fee. I'm a female. You have a female name on the DoorDash. So he's just assuming it's my fucking name. Why she went in on him, y'all? And basically it was going back and forth on the damn DoorDash app. <laughs> That's just so funny to me because he thought he really was about to holler at me. But meanwhile, honey, I done got somebody to buy me DoorDash. He was trying to get this yummy, yummy, yummy. Honey, at least you know. Don't get too comfortable, honey, because people checking for me, period. 